Business operators in Boya have expressed caution optimism over the resolve to resume economic activities in the municipalities on Mondays, infamously appellated as Ghost Towns Day. Meeting in an enlarged, all-inclusive and pacific dialogue that held at the Boyer Council Deliberative Chambers Thursday, 27th of December 2018, different stakeholders identified all challenges impeding the resumption of economic activities on Mondays while charting a way forward. Our problem is the drivers. We are begging them to try and walk and go open. With police and general total and serious harassment. If you go to some, some uh, accelerated area like Kwango, where you have penny corners, a logic control, if you don't give them 25,000 francs, it becomes a problem. Because they all know that they don't have documents. And we are willing to work. Things are not moving. We don't have money to pay those documents. At the same time, we will be harassed by police, gendarmes, or unknown person. We don't lose buses. We don't want more than 10 bus. We don't want to go for one week. We just try to beg cash and government. And I see that we don't have one bus and about 10 million. We have brought lost two bus for one day. We can never get strong for their life. They don't grow money. They don't want their bus at all. Because every other time we need to buy that bus here. So when we hear that, say that they can't. No man will get to know. No man will get to know. And one thing we are cast to feel present. That they don't lose their taxi. The administration see how they support them, encourage them, so that we all, this time for road talks, say no, that thing is we can also don't do for our brother, they don't lose their taxi. Everybody will stand up for face the challenge. On his part, the mayor of the Boya municipality and convener of this mayor Kupal gathering told the economic operators to shun aside fear and uncertainties and resume business operations on Mondays. We came up with uh, eight resolutions, um, amongst which um, the business community um, expressed need for the council to readjust the schedule on the market days in our various markets, especially the Boya Town market and uh, the Sopo market. Um, we have resolved that uh, we are going to look into it and uh, a communique will be sent to the radio and uh, copy it to the various market groupings on the new programming as per their request. The second category has to do with um, um, township transporters who complained uh, bitterly on um, spontaneous uh, uh, controls by forces of law and order. And uh, we have assured them that we are going to approach the administration to ensure that the controls are more on um, on security aspects rather than the documentation aspect of the taxi drivers, given that uh, the business general business community has suffered a severe setback for two years, there should be some tolerance and uh, more of communication with the transporters to ensure that they meet up with their taxes rather than extorting money, which um, would have uh, helped them to defray these um, costs. We're going to approach the administration who, in return, we are quite optimistic, will um, approach the forces of law and order. Um, the second complaint they gave um, had to do with um, um, insecurity. Uh, in the same vein, we are going to write to a hierarchy, the administration, to increase uh, various uh, uh, forces of law and other uh, control spots, especially within the Munya, Munya Mavio, Bomaka, My 16, My 14 and my 15 vicinities to give an assurance to the township taxi drivers as well as uh, highway transporters. He promised to be at the center of bringing normalcy in the business ecosystem while appealing for general assistance from the population. The streets seem very busy this day, but unfortunately on Mondays it is quite empty and it goes far beyond transportation to include even business premises. This is the new normal that has been existing in Boya, like in, the, in other parts of the Northwest and Southwest region since July when the ghost town syndrome started. The mayor of the Boya council used all methods he could to 
cajole the business operators to resume work so that they occupy the streets and bring Boya to the steam economically that it deserves. Unfortunately, much of that has not picked up steam, not until he calls them for a pacific dialogue. Will this one hear fruit? Will the streets of Boya be as busy as they have always been on Mondays? We are waiting to see. Boya first experienced an effective ghost town on July the 2, 2018. In spite of some toughened measures instituted by the municipal administrators to suppress the economic meltdown, the greater majority of the population downed their tools and stayed indoors. Whether or not this new and more subtle approach from the municipal council will heal any fruit is just a matter of time.